Let's make my ornate oscillations quilt pattern that uses only a layer cake. I am using the Season of Tribute Garden of Opulence by Bari J. One layer cake will yield you a throw size quilt measuring at 48 inches by 56 inches. But let's get started. With each 42 count 10 inch square, you will cut two 5 inch squares and two two and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangles. Then once everything is cut, you're going to select two five inch squares in mixed prints. On one of them, on the wrong side of the fabric, draw a 45 degree line from corner to corner. Then you will take those two five inch squares and lay them on top of each other, right sides together, and sew a quarter inch seam allowance on both of the sides of the line that you just drew. Then you will take a pair of fabric scissors or a rotary cutter and cut on that line to create two four and a half inch half square triangles. Afterward, you will place those two half square triangles like so. And please pay close attention to the line direction on these half square triangles. Then you will take two two and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangles in mixed prints and place them on the bottom. You're going to first sew your half square triangles together, followed by your rectangles to complete your eight and a half quilt block, which we are going to call the left. Now we need to create a block that we are going to call the right. So first you will create two four and a half inch half square triangles like before. But this time when we go to lay out our blocks, we're going to rotate them so the diagonals are facing the opposite direction. This is the only tricky part right here, but moving forward, you will then also take two, two and a half inch by eight and a half inch rectangles in mixed prints and then sew everything together once again to complete an eight and a half inch block called the right. With that said, you will repeat these steps until you have made a total of 24 left blocks and 18 right blocks. But once all of your blocks are made, for your odd rows, you will lay the left blocks out first with the half square triangles on the left side. Then for the even rows, you will lay the right blocks with the half square triangles on the right side. Then you'll just repeat this step within a six by seven block layout. And here is what my quilt top looks like all complete. For the backing, I am using a coordinating print from within the collection. And for the thread choice, I am going with glide threads in the color steel blue. And here is what my quilt looks like all quilted. I have decided to go with Feather Frenzy by Carly Porter, which I will have linked down below in the description. But I do hope you have enjoyed today's tutorial. If you could please take a moment to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified for your next amazing quilt project.